Hey man, look. So I got done watching the million dollars worth of game interview last night. Right after I came home from work. You know what I'm saying? I was finishing up the um the video. Right? I was finishing up and I was thinking like all night. Like I, I went to sleep thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a dream about the whole entire interview. You know what I'm saying? I woke up. And it had me thinking like, damn. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was a very unfortunate situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got you got people in the room, you know what I'm saying? Gambling, you know, you know, living life. And then it came to a point where the situation then escalated to a point where people was in danger. Like for real, man. It was it was very unfortunate. It was a very unfortunate situation. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Takeoff. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like I wish Takeoff was still here today. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. He didn't he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. He did not deserve that. You feel me? And when Gilly and Walla was saying that once you reach to a point where you don't have to do regular stuff anymore, you have to change everything around you now. And me being a 23-year-old black man from Gary, Indiana, from the hood, you know, destined to be a, a phenomenon. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. And I was taking a lot of notes. I was. I was taking a lot of notes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, during this interview, during me watching this interview. And it had me thinking like, you know, once I reach to, uh, once I reach to my goal, once I reach to a point where, you know, I'm no longer a regular person, I would have to isolate myself from, from the things that are regular. You know what I'm saying? And, and continue to elevate and not worry about the things that I used to do prior of, you know, me being successful. You feel me? Like, for real. Like, it was very, very touching of what Wallow and Gilly was saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, for real. Once you reach to a certain level, once you reach to that point, to that point that you desire, that you desire to, to, to be in, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have to, like, starve or worry about none of the stuff that you was worrying about prior to what you are now. You have to isolate yourself from from that. You have to isolate, you know, from the hood. You have to isolate yourself from the people that does not have your best interests at heart. You feel me? Like, you have to isolate yourself from that. Because if you continue to be in that path, after the success, the consequences will be served to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. You have to move different once you get out of the environment where people, you know, have no hope. Where people don't have the, the, the desire to change their change they perspective of living their life. Like, for real. You have to isolate yourself from that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what, bas that's what they was basically saying. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, me being a 23-year-old black man from the hood, you know, I was soaking up. I was soaking up a lot of a lot of stuff they were saying last night. You know what I'm saying? And it had me thinking hard. You feel me? Like, for real. It really did have me thinking hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Um, shout out to Gilly, Wallow, and uh, Jay Prince and his family and crew. You know what I'm saying? Because <sighs> we got to do better. You know what I'm saying? We we have to do better, man. For real. Rest in peace to take off, man.